Today is the ninth in our series of spotlights on black composers. Previous spotlights included Samuel Coleridge Taylor, Florence Price, Scott Joplin, Nathaniel Dett, Margaret Bonds, William Grant Still, Joseph Bologna, and last month's composer, Valerie Capers, who was our first living composer in the series. This month, we feature a composer who is not only living, but is younger than I am, which I am absolutely fine with. I'm so excited. But seriously, I am excited because I can't wait for you to learn about and hear the music of this month's featured composer, John Batiste, who is an American singer-songwriter, composer, musician, band leader, and television personality. Jonathan Michael Batiste was born on November 11, 1986, near New Orleans, Louisiana, and grew up in Kenner, Louisiana. He is a member of the legendary Batiste family, a New Orleans musical dynasty. At the age of eight, he played percussion and drums with the family band. At the age of 11, he switched to piano at his mother's suggestion. At 17, Batiste released his debut album, Times in New Orleans. He then went on to attend the Juilliard School, receiving a Bachelor of Music in 2008 and a Master of Music in 2011, both in jazz studies. The Batiste family is not only known for its musical talents, but also for its social activism, particularly in the long struggle for racial equality in the United States. John's grandfather, David Gautier, was president of the Louisiana Postal Workers Union, who was involved in the Memphis Sanitation Strike of 1968. The strike drew the attention and then presence of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., where he delivered his I've been to the mountaintop speech the day before his assassination. John is following in his grandfather's footsteps. In June 2020, during the protests, which were sparked in part by the murder of George Floyd, Batiste took part in the Juneteenth celebration in Brooklyn, New York, with a day of protests, marches, rallies, and vigils to, quote, celebrate show solidarity, and fight for equal rights and treatment of black people." Unquote. In the decades since his time at Juilliard, John Baptiste has recorded and performed with the likes of Stevie Wonder, Prince, Willie Nelson, Lenny Kravitz, Ed Sheeran, and Mavis Staples. He has performed in more than 40 countries. He's released his own recordings, as well as recordings of his band, Stay Human, which in 2011 released the album My NY, which was recorded in its entirety on New York City subway trains. Not on the platforms, but on moving trains. In 2015, John was named band leader and musical director of The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Baptiste also serves as the music director of The Atlantic and the creative director of the National Jazz Museum in Harlem. In 2020, John won an Academy Award for Best Original Score for the Disney Pixar film Soul, making him only the second black composer to win an award in that category, after Herbie Hancock in 1987. At the 2022 Grammy Awards, John Baptiste had 11 nominations, the highest number of the night. He took home five Grammys, also the highest of the night, including one for Album of the Year. Also in 2022, he was named one of Time Magazine's Top 100 Most Influential People in the Icons category. Baptiste's virtuoso composing skills were scheduled to be showcased in his large-scale, genre-melding symphonic work, American Symphony, set to premiere at Carnegie Hall in May 2022. Unfortunately, that performance had to be postponed due to Baptiste and members of his team testing positive for COVID-19. John Baptiste cites among the artists who have had the most influence on his artistic life 
Mahalia Jackson, James Brown, Louis Armstrong, Bruce Springsteen, Stevie Wonder, John Coltrane, Nina Simone, and Miles Davis. At just 35 years old, John Baptiste is already one of the most prolific and versatile musicians of his or any generation. How lucky we are to be able to bear witness to his unfolding genius as the world looks forward to what he has in store for us next.